let's look on the top toolbar right here we have a different type terrains if we right click it's expand we can create symmetry skin only standard and we convert terrains always between procedures and standard sometimes it's work to start creating procedural terrain when you receive right format you can switch to the standard terrain afterwards or as an example how I say we don't have a lunar effect so let me go to um, reset this filter okay for example I can go create lunar effect next I can go ahead and convert this to procedural terrain work with some of my procedures apply whatever I like effect and I can go back and convert back to standard terrain some terrain modifications won't be accepted or some will be changed you can notice it's slightly changed shape but overall it's kind of interesting trick you can go between them to manipulate and work with terrains you also have it skin only and symmetrical symmetrical is fun because if we enable right like right here what is happening is creating two terrains you can create also the floating islands this way so let me go ahead and reset it okay we'll go create one and you notice right here we have the one in symmetrical below if we're going on a minimum and we can pre-cut our bottom so you can see how they kind of merge together so right here we can create an easy floating island and this is one of the first tutorials what I did on Gigaplay to creating this floating island we have a different options we also can apply but this way it's kind of have a very a fast and fun way to do also let me create the tools to raise right here we'll go to invert you notice when I reduce it's also work from both so it's symmetrical tool applied to the both sides at the same time when you work on this okay, let's go back then normally when you create terrain it is um, actually fill up inside but if you need it you can create a skin only so when we pre-cut or do boiling operations you will have it kind of like opening uh, sometimes it may work when you try to create maybe caves inside but overall with the 3d tools you actually can take sculpt and you can go inside and create the cave that way as well okay so next we have the option to center and position on our terrain and it's helpful when you start maybe move it away or you lost your terrain so you can always go and reset we can also click and go in on the top view of the terrain okay again right click with mouse and rotating so you can readjust the terrain in the best view um, we also can show elements of scenery so for example right here we can see our cameras and using this quite a bit often when we start working with placing trees or maybe molding terrain around some other objects so we can enable and preview that way how well it's going okay next we have it apply the frame uh, frame is kind of nice when you start smoothing and in procedurals you will see quite with this when you start smooth terrain and want to come closer on details or see how the atapastrophe will be applying so this is very useful and of course when we start using um, it apologize or other ones you probably won't use it in warframe mode and then next we have spectral highlights normally I disable them it just uh, doesn't give me those details some people like it but for me it just have it a little bit slower uh, rendering on my preview and of course we can show textures in our atmosphere and preview the next we also can enable clipping planes the clipping planes can serve two purposes one when we creating um, image it just leave it on and for example we can bring them down it will also affect our render so it will cut top as well if we want to apply any effects or work sometimes on specific areas like for example I want to work here I can go click constrain to specific area and when I work you can notice I work just in this specific area that was clipped so you kind of help a little bit to work this way be sure to remember when you're done to move your clipping areas away and disable so when you go back to the image 
or let me show just this example right here I love it clipping area we we'll click OK and you notice it does clip also my terrain right here so be sure that um, in this case you want to go ahead and remove the clipping off from that point okay next we have the copy paste undo redo zoom of course remember with the view if you hold down control and right mouse button you can zoom shift and right click you can pan and just right click will allow you to rotate so you still have the options but you can also access directly from the top menu zoom in out the increase or decrease resolution of terrain and it's kind of important how I said before depend when you start working with this a um, couple of things when you use the FX example and increase uh, resolution that doesn't work very well so some options you want to avoid okay next we can resize terrain because by default it's 256 so we can click enable and create a different type size of the terrain as well be sure if you select this you want to resample altitude to fit your terrain as well if you need a crop you can enable that option as well okay next we have an equalize which allowed a kind of increasing values equalization of the values of this on our terrain okay we have an invert this is very useful if you start creating for example lake and I want to create it so this is perfect will be for the lake we have also options to filter altitude again this is similar filter that we're using in seed of course this is one reset the our seed because it's work kind of by itself standalone but it's same things so you can double click to load it or right click go edit and you can save it as well reset or load it here as well okay and next we have an add function even I said that it's not function driven but it does mean you cannot apply any additional specialized function to the terrain and you can select from already pre-made it for example right here we have it terrains or fractal you can um, like example let's go select one click OK so you can kind of already pre-apply to this function or you can um, set edit or we can go directly in a um, function editor and maybe create directly from here so let's reconnect it we'll go and we will select for example terrain fractal reset to 5 5 okay and right here we reset it okay next it's a uh, apologize what's happening like right here you can see how much it's stretching and if we enable our grid you can see this is like one polygon so obviously it's look not very nice so we can increase the apologize which is help us to stretch properly texture and avoid some the stretching on the textures we can apply a looseness currently it's 10 for some like this you maybe want even to go higher but don't go too high because it will change shape of your terrain quite a bit so let's say like right here okay and you notice it does change shape from those but we still have a general keep it peaks and most important right there here the sides the fix now so we don't have one single um, polygon kind of stretching all over so that very nice look this is effect again it's if you do it by the looseness so the less you have looseness the more closer to our region let's will be okay our next one extend canvas so if we have it higher we can increase and move it out we also have it force two dimensional it's in a case if you're using 3d and you're kind of making a hole as example so right here and for example okay by creating something side so I can in force it two dimensional to this so it will be um, kind of the work okay, let me go back okay the next we have it it is precision material preview so we can 
enable and if we have any procedure that applied maybe with the displacement we can preview this live okay, so let me go disable this effect okay um, this is on about our top navigation bar also pay attention right here to this polygon count even you have a low resolution maybe but with the topology or other effect this polygon count will grow and mostly when you start using a 3d tool it will grow quite a bit and significant so if you pay attention to this um, to the case so you don't want overlay and create too many of the polygons in your terrain 